how UK government appointed interim managers over MFM and Christ Embassy. Emerging report reveals. In the light of strong oppositions to the new Kama law, an emerging report has shown Nigerian churches obeyed the same in the foreign countries. In the 2014, the UK government appointed an interim manager over MFM when it noticed its administration's mismanagement. The same thing happened to Christ Embassy when its board of trustees was guilty of fraud, among other things. As religious associations go against a section of the Companies and Allied Matters Act, Kama, it would be interesting to note that Nigerian churches accept similar laws abroad. The cable reports that the new Kama gives powers to the Corporate Affairs Commission to either appoint an interim manager over religious bodies or suspend any of their trustee members in cases where there are instances of mismanagement or fraud. One of those who showed the fiercest opposition to the law is the General Overseer of Living Faith Church worldwide, Bishop David Oyedipo, who said the new rule was out of the government's envy of churches' prosperity. According to the media, the UK Charities Commission appointed interim manager over Daniel Olukoya's Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries International, MFM. The commission said it had to do that because MFM on numerous occasions filed its financial information leads, among other concerns it had with the church. The commission is concerned over the trustees' unwillingness to report serious incidents. Mm -hmm. The inquiry found two alleged incidents of fraud by former employees involving significant sums, both of which were not reported until a number of years after the fraud were discovered. It said, during a five-year-long investigation, the same commission also appointed an interim manager over Chris Oyakilume, Christ Embassy, in 2014. In 2019, it found the church's board of trustees to be culpable of fraud, saying there was clear misconduct and mismanagement in the church administration, failure to follow grants, making policy among others meanwhile by reports earlier reports that president mohammed buhari's aide loretta onochi tackled oyedipo onochi was reacting to oyedipo's rejection of the new regulation law on religious bodies according to her if the statement faulting the federal government's move is truly credited to oyedipo then the time has come for the cleric to manufacture his own country. Nigerian pastor dashes churches members as others show support as well. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, mm -hmm. See, I would like us to understand one fact. And the fact is this, of a truth, of a truth. This issue of Allied Matters Act doesn't, does, um, has nothing to do with, with the church or the, or, or the religious. Do you understand? It has nothing to do with the church. All right. Reason being that the church is a spiritual organization that's supposed to have and of which everything that should be done in the church should center on spiritual holiness and faith. So uh, involving government affairs to it chases chases the and um, wipes away 
those um, objectives that has just been stated. You understand? But meanwhile, when you look at it at the other way, you will see that somehow this uh, this Allied Matters Act is uh, is somehow useful. Why? It's somehow useful, and it came in as a result of the uh, the the misbehavior and the flamboyant life of some men of God in churches. That is to tell you, in essence, that some of these pastors are actually the ones that warranted the introduction of this Allied Matter Act to the church. Now look at, why won't the federal government intervene or get themselves involved when the church has already exposed itself, showing to the government that yes, they also have money like the politicians. The churches have exposed themselves. During the period of COVID-19, how much the churches released to government? I know of the Palais Church of God that released 50 million. What about, what about uh, uh, Medium Christian Church of God? In fact, these people released millions upon millions to these people. So by doing that, by doing that, what do you think that will come to the minds of the Nigerian government? You think they are fools? They will say, oh, so these people have money and we just allow them to just be without getting any tax from them. So that is why they decide to introduce that to them. So whether the church like it or not, they are the ones that cost it, they invited it, so they, they should make do with it. They should make do with it. I, for one, am not in support of this Allied Matters Act being introduced to the church, but since the church has invited it, good and fine, let them make do with it. You understand? So, my viewers, what is your take on this news? Please don't hesitate to leave this comment of yours behind. Click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.